Hello everybody, welcome to the dojo. In today's video, we'll be talking about something that is pretty interesting to me. I follow a Taekwondo master named David. Uh, he tapes a knife to his shoe and he throws Taekwondo kicks. And the way that he does it, it basically made me wonder about the art of shu jutsu and how we can reproduce that here in the dojo and how we can refine it maybe and maybe make it a little bit more elegant for our shinobi ways. So my EDC today is a Smith & Wesson. I believe this is an HRT rescue knife. And what we're gonna do in this video today is attach it to our shoe for some shoe jutsu. I got this piece of angled metal here for another project that I'm gonna do. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it with a saw. So this is my final design here. It doesn't look like much now, but when I get it all laced up, then you'll see how it works. So this is the setup. Down here in this lanyard hole, it's just a nail that goes through and I use a piece of wood as a backstop. I have here a piece of Velcro. Now the only thing to do is just lace it up. And this design will work with any knife. Okay guys, so this is the final assembly. Um, the knife is attached here, just into a piece of wood. The Velcro, you see how it slips through here so that the knife can still be opened, like so. And another reason why I chose this knife is because it's a flipper. So when it's attached to my foot, I'll be able to use these. From the top, I have these cables here just to attach to the toe. And then this one here will attach to the ankle. And then when it's all attached to my foot, I should be able to just kick. And when I kick, the blade will be able to come out and it will be attached to my foot and then I can, it's just a liner lock so I'll still have to disengage it. I got the Shujutsu blade laced up now. I'll have the camera come closer to give you a better view of it and how it's laced up. So this is how it's laced up on the foot. It just attaches like so and it doesn't really weigh anything. So let's try it out. So the way that I designed it is that I should be able to open it with just one foot. So first thing is I'll use the flipper tab to try to get the blade start to uh, open. Then I flick it out like so. And now the blade is fully open and my shujutsu is armed. Wow, that's actually uh, pretty impressive. So is Shujutsu an effective weapon? I think it's good to go. Once you have the blade open, it's really, it's really quick to attack. And you can come on this motion, get with a stab. Uh, and it's like having a, an extra spear. You know, think of it like having a, like a scorpion almost, how you can attack. So now I'm gonna make some cutting videos for my Instagram. So if you check me out on Instagram, you'll see the cutting videos I'm going to make and you'll know the backstory behind it. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Have a good night.